Hi, vlog. Boo! Hi, vlog. Welcome to the Halloween special. This week is going to be spooky, so viewer discretion advised. We are talking candy, costumes, jump scares, scaring friends. I'm going to pull pranks on you. Like, it's going to be a crazy time. So if you think you can handle it, great. Continue to watch the vlog. If you can't handle it, still watch the vlog because I like the views. That was Finding Favor singing Dance on Home.fm. Postmodern Jukebox is bringing their Welcome to the 20s 2.0 tour to Jackson. Hey. hey vlog, you want to know something truly scary? It is only Tuesday and I have two loads of laundry. Yeah. Trick or treat, am I right? I never quite understood like the Tide Pod fad. Like, they smell good, yes, and I guess if you were told that this was candy, you'd want to eat it, but, like... Look at it all. It's freaking cold and raining outside. Hey. I'm mad. Hey, I have another scary thing for the vlog. I'm doing my first math lesson in two years. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I'm all good. She's crying. It was so perfect. You want to know something really scary? Having a pimple on your forehead. Oh. Hey, so I decided to do something kind of cool. Um, I asked all of my professors what their favorite Halloween costume was growing up. Here it is. Favorite Halloween costume I've ever had was at Halloween in the Science Lab this year, I got to wear a Stormtrooper outfit. And oh. even though the Stormtrooper outfit was exceedingly confining, <laughs> I could hardly move. Uh, it looked really good, and it was very fun to wear, although I couldn't do any experiments in it. But um, it was cool, so. All right, an engineer on the railroad. Oh, did you have like your own railroad and stuff too? No, my dad was an engineer, so I had an old railroad hat and a pair of bib overhauls, and I wore a red handkerchief around my neck, and I had an old lantern, and then um, my mom, when I was little, would put like coal, smudges on my face. Oh my gosh, cool. Yeah. I love that. The only time I ever went trick-or-treating, I put a uh, tablecloth over my head, cut eye holes in it, and went as a ghost. Okay. Oh, <laughs> simple. My favorite Halloween costume growing up was a homemade box that had little armhole cutouts <laughs> and my mom wrapped it like a Christmas present with wrapping paper and I had a big bow in my head. And I loved it because my mother made it. Oh, Aww. that's so sweet. <laughs> okay, my, one of my favorites was, uh, I was, you know, it was an easy oh, costume for me. I was a bum. Oh. I was a bum. I was just a dress as a bum. I was a bum. And then also, I would, you, would, you could dress as a hippie easy, you know. And then one time I dressed as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the most fun reaction. So. And I was probably nine or ten. But uh, yeah, I would say I, I, I trick or treated. And we all always said, help the poor. I know not a trick or treat. But uh, most of the time I was a bum. Awesome. 
just have dirty face and you know, torn off shirts. <laughs> That's so, awesome. That it, okay. Yeah. My very favorite Halloween costume was as a clown. Um, I know clowns, you know, are kind of creepy today, and they've, they've got a bad rap. I think this was fun. We always made our own costumes, and my mom made ours, and it had huge puff balls on it and big polka dots and it was big enough that each year I would be a clown and as I grew it grew with me you know That's we were so poor <laughs> and um, it was just a lot of fun I like clowns as long as they're not you know bloody and creepy yeah, right like yeah. they are now <laughs> yeah you know what's really scary Acid reflux. hi everybody it's the news with Mel Halloween edition today I would like to discuss the murder of Muffet Hall and how it's affected the campus of Spring Arbor University. As you can see behind me, the rubble is in the place of where Muffet Hall once stood. Ever since they tore down the school, Spring Arbor students have been noticing some strange occurrences and there's only one explanation for them. All of the ghosts that were in Muffet Hall got released the first time the bulldozer and now the entire campus is haunted with Muffet's ghosts. I see a student over here mourning the death of Muffet Hall. Let's talk to her about it. Excuse me? Yes. Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt your mourning. I would just like to talk to you. Have you noticed any strange happenings going on in campus since the murder of Muffet Hall? Actually, now that you mentioned it, yes, even right now, the wind has up. They're the ghosts confirming what I have said. Yeah, I just I feel like ever since they tore down the building, it's like all of campus is just depressing and rainy and cloudy. And I feel like the only explanation is that all of the ghosts in Muffet have been released into the world. Tell us a little bit about the power outage that have occurred. Oh yeah, so the other night I was here all by myself. I opened my eyes at three in the morning. I can't see anything. And. Uh, Basically, what had happened is the power had gone out on campus and uh, no one was able to provide any actual explanation, so I'm just forced to believe that uh, Spring Arbor is now haunted. Wow. I, I think it's pretty irresponsible of the administration to release these things into the world, so. Absolutely. Any other strange things that you've noticed? It seems like nature itself is rejected. You saw that really? Cut what the film, cut happening? the film, cut the film. You know what's really scary? What are you doing? Respect the drip, Karen. <laughs> oh. Happy Halloween, everybody. We're at the hospital, ready to do some clinical. Yeah. Cheers. This is not coffee, this is orange juice. <laughs> hey. Hi, happy Halloween, you Halloweeners. Here. And the owl. <laughs> Potential, a potential flaw we didn't see, but yay! You know what's really scary? It's snowing! Okay, Shady. Yes, I have everything. Look at the snow. What the heck? Snow way. Hey. All right, thank you for watching the special Halloween edition of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were scared. That's the whole point. Anyways, like and subscribe for more content. Regular <laughs> vlog starts next week. <laughs> See you then. Goodbye. <laughs>